traveling at 58 kilometers per second, the interstellar comet 3I Atlas is rewriting the rules of space. It's seven miles wide, enriched in carbon dioxide, and its water is escaping on tiny frozen grains, solving one of its biggest mysteries. But another remains. Why did its metal signature defy physics? Three, I Atlas is an ancient time capsule from the galaxy's thick disk, carrying secrets of alien chemistry. Scientists have now detected water escaping from the interstellar comet, 3I Atlas, at an unexpected distance from the Sun, solving one of the biggest mysteries about this visitor from another star system. Using NASA's Swift Observatory in late September, astronomers found hydroxyl gas, the leftover when sunlight breaks down water molecules, streaming from the comet at 40 kilograms per second when it was still three astronomical units from the Sun. This discovery reveals that water wasn't sublimating directly from the comet's surface, but was instead carried on tiny ice-coated dust grains ejected into space. 3. I Atlas continues to rewrite our understanding of comets from other star systems. Discovered in July 2025, with an initial velocity of 58 kilometers per second, this interstellar object follows a hyperbolic trajectory that confirms its origin beyond our solar system. The comet's solid icy nucleus, potentially 5.6 kilometers wide or smaller, according to Hubble Space Telescope observations, carries chemistry unlike anything in our neighborhood. Initial observations from the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed the comet is incredibly enriched in carbon dioxide compared to water, with the highest CO2 to water ratio seen in any comet. The water mystery stood out because astronomers expected to find it, but couldn't detect it directly at first. Water typically starts evaporating from comets much closer to the sun. Yet here researchers confirmed water was escaping at three astronomical units, a distance where it should remain frozen Scientists compared the flow to a fire hose running at full blast. The explanation suggests these water molecules weren't coming from direct sublimation, but from smaller ice-coated dust grains ejected into space. Sunlight then broke down the water on these grains, producing the hydroxyl signatures detected by Swift's ultraviolet instruments, which can see what ground-based telescopes cannot due to Earth's atmosphere blocking UV light. This makes 3I Atlas fundamentally different from the two other confirmed interstellar objects. Oumuamua was completely dry, containing no water at all. Comet Borisov was rich in carbon monoxide, but water wasn't a significant discovery there either. These three visitors show us how diverse the building blocks of comets across the galaxy seem to be, challenging the assumption that star systems form in similar ways the comet's metal emissions created another scientific puzzle, though not for the reasons that appeared in some media coverage. A controversial paper hypothetically asked whether the nickel emissions could indicate alien technology, but the reality is that dozens of cometary studies find iron and nickel in most solar system comets. Many comets observed every year contain these metals, and scientists are certain none of them are aliens. The speculation came from one person from Harvard and one poorly written paper that decided to hypothetically ask what if this was alien technology because of the metal emissions. The real mystery involved the ratio of these metals. Very large telescope observations tracked the comet between August and September, confirming nickel emissions but initially detecting no iron. This was difficult to explain since iron and nickel typically come hand in hand in space. These metals form inside the cores of dying stars, then get blasted out during supernovas and pulled into new star systems forming planetary disks. Because they come from the same source, we usually find them together. Iron finally appeared when the comet reached 2.6 astronomical units from the Sun, and the extremely high nickel to iron ratio dropped rapidly as the comet approached our star. 
the evolution of these spectral signatures showed nickel emissions in solid blue and iron in red, dramatically changing over time. This unusual rapid change, never seen before in any comet, supports a specific theory about metal release from comets. The metals appear to be contained in highly volatile organometallic compounds, specifically nickel tetracarbonyl and iron pentacarbonyl. These aren't pure metals, but organic compounds with different properties. Nickel tetracarbonyl has a lower sublimation temperature, so it starts emitting much earlier in a comet's approach to the sun. Iron pentacarbonyl molecules vaporize only closer to the sun and remain invisible farther away. This comet provided the first clear evidence supporting this mechanism for metal emission in comets helping explain observations even in our own solar system where the nickel to iron ratio is usually about 10 times higher than the ratio found in the sun. The comet's age and origin add crucial context to these unusual properties. Scientists believe it's possibly over 7.6 billion years old, coming from a location in the galaxy containing many ancient stars. This region represents the thick disk of our galaxy areas above and below the main galactic plane where objects can remain undisturbed for billions of years. The comet likely formed in an extremely cold environment where CO2 could condense easily, then got kicked out from the outskirts of its star system, carrying pristine material across interstellar space. The initial discovery came from ground-based telescopes that are part of a global network constantly watching for moving objects. When astronomers first spotted 3i Atlas, they thought it was just another asteroid. But the velocity measurements quickly revealed something extraordinary. At 58 kilometers per second, this object was moving so fast across the solar system that there was no way to explain it unless it came from somewhere far away. The stretched hyperbolic trajectory left no doubt about its interstellar origin. For comparison, Earth orbits the Sun at 30 kilometers per second, and even Mercury, much closer to the Sun, only reaches 48 kilometers per second. The incredible speed of 3i Atlas has obviously increased even more as it approaches the Sun, following the laws of orbital mechanics that govern all objects in space. The initial observations also revealed that while the comet was first thought to be around 20 kilometers wide, Hubble Space Telescope corrections showed it was actually much smaller, possibly just 5.6 kilometers or even less. James Webb Space Telescope observations added layers of complexity to our understanding. Beyond the extreme CO2 enrichment, the telescope detected ions commonly found in comets including cyanide ions, carbonyl sulfide, and carbon monoxide. While none of these compounds are unusual by themselves, as many solar system comets contain them, their presence alongside the extreme CO2 to water ratio painted a picture of radically different formation conditions. The CO2 discovery was particularly significant. In our solar system, we don't really have comets so enriched in CO2 and so depleted in water. The ratio observed in 3i Atlas is the highest ever recorded in any comet, making this an exceptional object that challenges our models of cometary composition. The high CO2 content explains why the comet became active so far from the sun, since CO2 ice sublimates at much lower temperatures than water ice. On October 3rd, as 3i Atlas made its closest approach to Mars at about 30 million kilometers, the European Space Agency's ExoMars orbiter captured images of the interstellar visitor. The comet appears as a fuzzy bright dot representing its icy nucleus surrounded by a coma thousands of kilometers wide. The observations proved challenging because the comet is between 10,000 and 100,000 times fainter than the Martian surface. The orbiter 
designed specifically to observe Mars rather than distant comets, couldn't distinguish the nucleus from the coma or capture the tail in these images. The timing of the Mars encounter was significant for understanding the comet's trajectory. As it passed by the red planet, 3I Atlas was continuing its journey through the inner solar system, following a path aligned with the ecliptic plane where all our planets orbit. This alignment creates opportunities for multiple spacecraft encounters that weren't originally planned. Two upcoming opportunities might provide additional unprecedented data. Europa Clipper and potentially other spacecraft may pass directly through the comet's ion tail in November 2025. While they'll be millions of kilometers from the cometary core itself, crossing through the extended tail would allow Europa Clipper's plasma instrument and magnetometer to potentially detect magnetic field signatures or pick up actual ions from an interstellar object for the first time in history. These missions weren't designed to observe comets, but scientists recognize a high probability of capturing valuable data from this chance encounter. The European Space Agency's JUICE mission standing for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, has scheduled observations of 3I Atlas in November 2025 as well. At this point in its orbit, with the comet very close to the Sun, scientists expect it to be highly active with maximum sublimation and tail formation. The spacecraft plans to observe the comet with every single instrument on board, Though the data won't arrive at Earth until early 2026, because the spacecraft will be positioned behind the Sun from our perspective. This communication delay highlights one of the challenges in studying 3 AR Atlas. For the next few months, the comet will remain completely invisible from Earth's perspective as it passes behind the Sun. This geometric alignment means ground-based telescopes and even most space telescopes cannot observe the comet during what might be its most active phase near perihelion. The scientific impact of 3I Atlas extends far beyond simple curiosity about an interstellar visitor. The detection of water vapor at such great distances from the sun challenges traditional understanding of cometary activity that astronomers have built over decades of observation. The discovery suggests that tiny ice-coated grains can form and survive much farther from stars than previously expected, producing unusual tails surrounded by water particles through an indirect sublimation mechanism. The dramatic change in the nickel to iron ratio as the comet approached, the Sun supports the volatile organometallic compound theory for heavy metal emissions in comet tails. This observation helps explain a long-standing mystery about why comets in our own solar system emit these metals at distances where direct sublimation shouldn't occur. The evidence from 3I Atlas suggests many heavy metals observed in comet tails, even from familiar solar system comets, are produced through the breakdown of these complex organic compounds rather than simple sublimation of pure metals. Scientists have already published numerous peer-reviewed studies about 3I Atlas since its July 2025 discovery, with research papers available through the Cornell University Archive website. By searching for 3I Atlas in this free database, researchers and interested observers can access all major studies about this object. The archive contains initial drafts of studies in astronomy and astrophysics, providing public access to the latest research before formal journal publication. These observations offer an extremely rare opportunity to study the chemistry and physics of different star systems by examining pristine materials carried across interstellar space. The comet acts like a time capsule, preserving conditions from its formation environment billions of years ago. Every measurement adds data about how planetary systems form and evolve in different regions of the galaxy. Regions with different stellar densities, 
metallicities and radiation environments than our own solar neighborhood. Many fundamental questions remain unanswered about this mysterious visitor. The unusual chemistry, including the extreme CO2 enrichment and initial absence of detectable water, points to formation conditions dramatically different from our solar system. The water release mechanism through dust grain ejection rather than direct sublimation suggests processes we haven't observed in local comets. The changing metal ratios reveal complex organic chemistry that we're only beginning to understand. After November 2025, when new spacecraft observations potentially arrive and the comet finally emerges from behind the sun, scientists expect to gather even more transformative data. Ground-based telescopes will resume observations, tracking how the comet's close solar approach has altered its surface and composition. The post-perihelion observations will reveal whether the intense solar heating has exposed new layers of material or fundamentally changed the comet's activity patterns. The interstellar comet 3I Atlas continues its remarkable journey through our solar system at its incredible velocity, carrying billions of years of cosmic history from a distant star system. Each observation provides a unique window into the astounding diversity of cosmic chemistry beyond our stellar neighborhood, forcing astronomers to reconsider assumptions about how common or unique our own solar system's composition might be in the broader galaxy.